Now I would like for us to practice an adaptation of the loving kindness meditation, but especially dedicated to doctors and nurses and to many people who are suffering right now during the pandemic. Let's practice together. So we seat ourselves in a position that's comfortable for us, or you can lay down if, if that's more comfortable for you. Keep the spine straight. What happens when the spine is straight is that there is more space for the lungs and for all the organs to breathe more easily, this greater sense of spaciousness. And that helps also to achieve a more calm state of relaxation. I was sharing with you about this student of mine who is a doctor and who's sharing how overwhelmed and powerless she felt. And that made me think of how could we practice the loving kindness meditation at this time? And how could we send these wonderful invocations that come from thousands of years old to people who are suffering right now. So we are going to start first with ourselves and also something that I want to remind you, we have had together classes on neuroplasticity and you know that whatever is experience, it's also registered at different levels, not only in our brain, but in our nervous system. And you also know because we have read and discuss about this that we all have mirror neurons that when we can see or visualize someone else in a certain state our, our own inner space our heart our mind our our soul resonates with that and many of you have experienced it too through doing volunteering with the community and you know that this is true right so this is a similar experience. We have gone just a moment ago with practices to find inner peace. And now from that space of inner peace, we are going to share it with other people. And as we share it, we are not losing it. It just multiplies. Because when we are visualizing the person receiving this blessing, then we experience what we are visualizing her or him experiencing, which is having their burden a little bit lifted or as much lifted as possible, right? So with that understanding, let's now practice the loving kindness meditation in adaptation for coronavirus times. So first, we are going to close our eyes like we always do for meditation or leave them open, but not looking outside just so that you don't get distracted with the surrounding. You can lower your gaze if you prefer not to close your eyes and that's perfectly too. And then we are going to bring attention inward by paying attention to two or three of our breaths, just noticing how we're breathing right now. And today we are going to start with ourselves. We are going to be uh, wishing this vocation that comes from thousands of years to ourselves. And we are going to start by wishing ourselves, may I be filled with loving kindness. And imagine how, how does that feel? To be filled with loving kindness in these times is also to have compassion for yourself for whatever circumstance you are, even if sometimes you feel that perhaps you are falling short and you cannot give all that you would like to give and you are tired, exhausted or fearful. And embracing all that and be filled with loving kindness first towards yourself, no judgment, and then also to others. May I be filled with loving kindness and sense how would, how does that feel? It's kind of a general softening, a general coming back home, being at peace with ourselves and the present circumstances. May I be well in body and mind. And that's a longing that we all have. May I be well in body and mind. May I be well in body and mind can be said even if one is sick. 
or has a pre-existing condition. It's just, may I have a sense of well-being within what my circumstance is? May my mind calm down and so that my body can calm down and may my body calm down so that my mind can calm down because they are connected. May I be well in body and mind? And sensing how would that be? What would be that extra sense of being well in body and mind? May I be safe from inner and outer dangers? May I drop these inner dangers of my fears and my anger and other emotions that sometimes overrun us? And may I be safe? from inner and outer dangers, also from dangers of infection, etc. But mainly taking care of ourselves externally and internally. May I be safe from inner and outer dangers. And the last one, usually we say, may I be happy, but in these circumstances, we are going to say more, may I experience calm, inner strength and peace. And imagine ourselves experiencing that right now. May I experience calm, inner strength, and peace. And don't worry about writing down this, but try to go through the experience because only when you go through the experience, you will know what is it about. Otherwise, it will be a bunch of words in front of you. So may I experience calm, inner strength, and peace. And how would that be for you? One last time, because sometimes it takes some time to percolate in. May I experience calm, inner strength, and peace. And now we are going to bring to our mind a doctor or a nurse that we know, that maybe we knew from before the pandemic. Someone that we know, and if we know their name, we are going to say their name too, and bring them into our heart and mind, knowing that they are going through a lot these days. A heroic effort of having to be there in the front lines 24 seven, and then the fear of bringing the sickness to their families or homes. So bringing that person into mind, and wishing her or him, may you be filled with loving kindness. And again, this loving kindness for herself or himself is also accepting that they are doing the best they can. And sometimes they feel powerless or overwhelmed, but having the compassion towards themselves of being filled with loving kindness first for themselves and then also for others, being able to experience some sense of relief. And then we bring the person again to our mind and imagine the person receiving this blessing. May you be well in body and mind. May you be able to rest, to ask for help, to receive help. You, this doctor or nurse, may you be well in body and mind. May the people around you be careful. May you be well in body and mind. May you be safe from inner and outer dangers. May you feel protected. May you feel cared for. May you somehow experience this being safe from inner and outer dangers. And we imagine the person suddenly breathing a little bit more freely, receiving a little bit of a break or an extra sense of support in their daily life as doctors or nurses. May you be safe from inner and outer dangers. May you be experiencing calm, inner strength, and peace. May you experience calm, inner strength, and peace. Bathing this person with this blessing. 
come in to the rescue. May you experience calm, inner strength, and peace. From our heart, we send it to them. Visualize the person receiving it. And now we're going to visualize a person that we see when we go shopping or in the public, somebody that we don't know personally, probably we don't know their name, but they are there also helping us to be able to go on with our lives. Postman, gardener, cashier, so many people that continue to be doing their work and have a greater risk of infection and of infecting their families. We bring one person to our mind knowing that they are feeling this extra burden and visualizing them wherever they are right now, totally working. We wish him or her, may you be filled with loving kindness towards yourself, appreciating yourself. May you be filled with loving kindness May you be well in body and mind. May you not get infected. May you be well in body and mind. At the end of the day, may you find some peace. And during the day too, may people smile to you and see you as a human being. May you be well in body and mind. May you be safe from inner and outer dangers. Okay, may you not get depressed and overwhelmed. May you not get infected. May you be safe from inner and outer dangers. May you experience calm, inner strength and peace. Imagining the person while doing the work, suddenly feeling a greater sense of relief, their burden lifted a bit. The circumstances are the same, but inside they are receiving this that we are sending from our heart. May you experience calm, inner strength and peace. May you be treated in a way that replenishes you. May you be treated in a way that replenishes you. May you treat yourself also in a way that takes care of your needs. May you experience calm, inner strength and peace. And finally, we are going to think of someone that we know that's close to our heart, maybe a relative or a friend or someone that you know that is going through a difficult time right now. Maybe they had a pre-existing condition or they have been infected or someone they care for has been infected or they are going through great economic troubles. So we are bringing this person that we know, we know their name, we know a little bit about their life. Our prayer goes to them. We visualize the person and we wish her or him, may you be filled with loving kindness, imagining the person receiving the blessing. May you be filled with loving kindness towards yourself. May your burden be lifted. May you experience hope and be able to sustain care. May you be well in body and mind. We really wish this to this person that we know is struggling and sin are caring towards them. May you be safe from inner and outer dangers. Imagining the person receiving this. May you experience calm, inner strength and peace. 
so that they can handle their circumstances in as much peace as possible. May you experience calm, inner strength, and peace. Visualizing them receiving this. And we're going to close by again bringing this to ourselves and wish ourselves, may I be filled with loving kindness, imagining that. Now that we have been using our muscles of loving kindness, may I be filled with loving kindness. How would that feel? May I be well in body and mind, receiving this blessing. May I be safe from inner and outer dangers being able to drop the extra burden that sometimes we create for ourselves and also taking necessary care. May I be safe from inner and outer dangers. May I experience calm, inner strength and peace. And visualizing ourselves experiencing that. 